So June, good morning. The BOK holding steady, we know that. Was that expected, I have to ask you? And gosh, I mean, how long can they hold off with the economy in the shape it's in? Hi, Martin. They did. They did keep rates steady uh, today. And uh, uh, regarding when the next cut will be, most economists that I've spoken to are telling me that there will be one more cut before the end of this year. But they're also saying that the Bank of Korea only has one more chance, meaning that uh, they see that the negative effect of a further cut from 1.5 percent will outweigh the positive effects on the economy after the rate goes below 1.25 percent. So, uh, so they're saying there will be one more coming this year but again they have to be careful about when they use this last card so again there were the the decision today one at one un, unchanged at 1.5 percent was in line with market expectations and uh, analysts were saying that that there would be no change given that it's just one week before the u.s fed rate decision and also uh, supporting the rate freeze are continued concerns of a possible exodus of foreign uh, funds uh, but also a uh, much more concerning is the increasing level of household loans also, the Bank of Korea has released data showing that household loans continue to grow. Loans outstanding are at 763 trillion won as of the end of July. So this is seen as one of the biggest reasons supporting the freeze. Martin, thanks. Gotcha. Thanks so much, Jun Yoon. There, Korea, of course, in a tough uh, uh, position, uh, right, with household.